Hi and welcome to today's video in which I'm going to share with you 10 pamper gift ideas for mums. Hi, I'm Maria Hilliard. Welcome to my channel, Women Into Wellness. This is where I provide you with tools, tips and strategies to help you maximise your potential for wellness and well-being. So if you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Click that bell for notifications when I drop a new video and stay tuned because I've got for you these great 10 tips for gifts for mums. Now, first off, I want to add the caveat that whenever you are thinking about giving a gift to someone, it doesn't always mean that you have to spend money because often if you just give someone some attention, some help, some support or some love, you will find that is one of the most valuable gifts you can give them. Now, we're talking particularly today about mums, and I will say that can't be any more true than it is for mums, because a lot of the time, mums are gonna feel overworked, they're gonna feel like they have too much on their to-do list, that they are not being nurtured by themselves, let alone by anybody else, and that really they just need some time, they just need some help, they just need some support and a bit of R&R &R and some restoration. So it doesn't always have to mean that you are spending money to really give your mum or someone else's mum something that they really need, will really value and be forever grateful for. So based on that, I'm gonna give you the 10 ideas that I have for mums. First off, before I go into them, I will also add though, is that often when you want to give someone a gift, sometimes it's a good idea to just ask them what it is they really want or need. And this is gonna be a good idea if you're thinking about giving someone time or a gift that's not a purchase thing, as well as if you are gonna purchase something. So it's always a good idea to ask someone, but if you are into giving someone something as a surprise, then, Let's get started on my 10. The first one is going to be giving them the gift of time for themselves. Yes, you're going to give your mum some me time because as I said, they are overburdened, overworked, overrushed, don't usually have much time for themselves in the day. Now this pertains especially to a mum who is a caregiver of children or of elderly parents even more so if she is a caregiver of both and she's sandwiched in the middle. Sometimes what that mum really just needs is some time on her own outside of her to-do list or social obligations where she can really feel like she can just do her, okay? So whether that looks like uh, giving her an hour away from her kids or an afternoon where if you're a friend or a family member you can babysit her kids for her or if it's an elderly parent that needs to have visitation whether you could do that one week so that she it's great for the elderly parent but also so that your mum can also have some time off if it's something that you can do where you just create an opportunity or experience for her to get out of her usual routine or out of the day on her own, that's great. So she can go out and do something on her own or with whomever she chooses to do it with. Or you can excavate the house of yourselves and give her some time to be at home on her own. But I will add here as well, caveat, not if that means she is going to stay in the house on her own and start doing the cleaning and the dishes and all of the handy jobs that she doesn't usually have time to, that is still on her to-do list. It's only going to work if she is literally going to switch off, take that bath, mid-afternoon bath, watch that Netflix movie, uh, sit down and read a book and do something totally relaxing. So it may be that you need to get her out on her own. It may be that she will do something in on her own. You can take something, some of the burden off of her so that she has some me time. Number two, mums need time on their own, but they also need time with the people they love, but quality time because Often the times that mums spend with the ones they love is based around a routine or rushing, doing things, whether it's getting kids in and out the door, getting meals on the table, keeping a house, whatever that may be. So it needs to be focused time where it's quality. So this might be, for example, just going out for a walk with your mum. 
driving or walking to the local park or the forest and having that time where you are out just enjoying each other's company but where she gets to spend quality time with you and again this is where you really need to listen to what a person needs because unless you're going to ask her directly which I've already said is a good idea how does she want to spend time with you you really need to start listening into what people want what they need and focusing on it and picking that up or, or like I said, just ask them outright so you really have a good idea and that you can create a lovely shared experience together. Now, this might end up looking like sitting on the sofa watching Netflix. It might be doing something in the home together. So it might be doing a craft together or it might be going out and having that experience outdoors or driving an hour to the nearest beach so that you can take that coastal walk together. Whatever it is, quality time with you where you are not on your phone, where you're not engaged with something else, where mum's not having to attend to a to-do list and get loads of other stuff done is such a valuable thing to plan in and that can be a wonderful, wonderful gift. Now, what I will say with uh, some of these gifts is if you're just going to say, yeah, mum, I'm going to spend an afternoon with you, it may not really sound like it's packaged up like a gift. So what you can always do is, it's a really cute idea, make a little gift voucher. All you need to get is, a, I don't know, you could get a card or you could just use some a card that's lying around the house. Get a little card or an old gift card you've received, you know, cut the back off where someone else wrote on it, fold it over, but write in there that this is a voucher to you. Put a lovely message in it as to what it is. So, Mum, I've planned for you a, a lovely afternoon on your favourite beach where we will have a picnic, whatever it might be, or a coastal walk or a craft session at yours. I'll bring over the crafts or I'll help you sort through your crafts so we can do something together. Then pop it in there, make it look pretty by pop having a little voucher that you can actually hand to her so that it seems like it's a concrete promise of something you are actually going to do together and better still, get the time and the date scheduled in as soon as you can to make sure it does happen because if it's not scheduled, it's probably likely that it will never happen. Another lovely one is to cook your mum a lovely meal. Now, if you think about it, maybe your mum or your father is someone who is doing most of the cooking in the house. Maybe you do some of the cooking in the house. Um, but often mums are having to do a lot of cooking, if not for themselves, for other people. So sometimes it's just nice for them to be invited out of that environment to go and have a meal cooked by somebody else. They can either come to your house, you can go to their house to cook it, or you can drop off a meal and say, here you go, I've made it, that's you done for the night. There's your starter, your main, your dessert, and if she likes a drink, bring her a bottle of something to drink to go along with it. It's just a really nice way of showing that you share, you care, you've thought about her taking a step back from her normal routine to have something enjoyable. And like I said, if you have the opportunity to enjoy it together, then social eating is such a blessing. It's a wonderful thing to do. Okay, another one, and this links a bit into the first one, which was about me time, is to take some burden off of your mum by completing a task or giving her some help with something that she needs doing. So this might be that your mum has forever mentioned that she needs her photos hung up in her dining room, but she doesn't have the power drill or doesn't have the time to do it. This is something you can do for your mum. And trust me, sometimes this is so much more valuable than giving her a box of chocolates or giving her that bath set from Boots is actually doing something that has been playing on her mind for weeks, months, and often sometimes years. Whether it's that she wanted a fresh coat of paint in the hallway because the younger kids' hands have marked up the walls, is that something you can do for her? Is it a bit of gardening? Is it cleaning out the shed? Is it washing her car? Is it something you can do that is on her list of to-do lists? And particularly if it's something she doesn't have time to do or doesn't want to do or doesn't know how to do, can you do it for her or can you source the person and sort them out to do it for her? So if she needs that carpenter to come in to build or fix the cupboard door or fit some fitted shelves in a corner of the lounge, is that something within your budget? Can you take all of the hassle out of doing it for her by finding someone who can do it, set it up, get it done? Just make sure you get it done in the way that your mum wants it done, in the way she had envisioned it being doing, unless of course your idea is a lot better. Okay, this is moving on to the original sense of pampering. It's something that's gonna make her feel lovely, loved up and luxurious, is a massage. Now, 
If you happen to be a soft tissue therapist, amazing. Give your mum a massage and if you're comfortable with, she's comfortable with you touching her and you're comfortable with touching her, give your mum a lovely back, neck and shoulder massage or a facial. But you don't have to be a professional to do it. If your mum doesn't have any health ailments that would actually be contraindications, so that would mean she shouldn't have a massage, then what you can do if it's she's she's just got general good health and she can have one is to look up some videos on YouTube you know have a look at how a professional would do a massage there will be a tutorial on how to do a gorgeous facial on how to do a foot rub how to do a hand and arm massage these things can be so much more relaxing than you might think so hand and up the arms foot and up the calves back neck shoulder facial head massage this is something lovely that you can do for your mum and if you can do this set up the environment yourself so whether it's that you would do it at hers or she would come to yours where it's nice you've got slightly dim lights or pop some candles on get some scents in there with some aromatherapy you know make it feel like she's having a pamper experience and it's something you wouldn't really need to spend much money on just make sure you have some sort of oil you can use that is going to be safe for her skin so this can be any sort of nut based oil if she doesn't have a nut allergy or you can use something like coconut oil or olive oil even olive oil from your kitchen just put a couple of drops of aromatherapy oil in there you don't even need to add scent if you don't want to give her a lovely massage you know aim to make it sort of 25 to 30 minutes put on a lovely soothing playlist by looking on um, one of these channels where you can get some free relaxing music might be something like meditation or yoga music off of uh, YouTube, something like this that you can legally play. Then just pop that on in the background and really give her that lovely pampering experience. And why not make it into a whole at home spa day? You could do a massage, you could do nails, you could do pedicure as well, couldn't you? And really make it something she will enjoy. Following on from that last one, aromatherapy oils. So I just mentioned massage. This is a really lovely gift. If your mom, whether your mum is into aromatherapy oils or not, it's a lovely way of adding to it. So if she already is into it, you would of course need to find out which oil she already has and try and buy her something that is added. And in addition to that, or you can top up one that she uses regularly. So if she uses lots of lavender, she's never gonna complain about having another lavender. You just have to think about the shelf life of these things. So you wanna make sure she's got something she can use before it starts to go off. Okay, so that's a lovely one to add in, but if she's never had any before, you can get a whole pack or a kit for very reasonable prices. There might just be three in there if you're looking to spend something that's a very low budget, but make sure you're just looking for a high quality product. You can find these from all different vendors, so just have a look online. High quality product, make sure it's certified aromatherapy oil, look that up if she's completely new to it why not look at getting her a book to go with it you can even buy courses these days so have a look online if she's if you think there'd be something she'd be into buy her a little book buy her a set of three five ten twelve aromatherapy oils and or buy her a court short course where she can learn how to use the oils herself for her own benefit because they can have such benefit for women all throughout stages of your life different time frames to invigorate revive refresh you to calm and relax you lots of different things it's a lovely gift to give now also following on from this, beauty products. Now typically we go to somewhere, I don't know, like Boots or to one of your big stores like uh, Walmart or Target and you would just look for the like gift packed things and you would have these, you just buy it and you gift it to your mum. Well, what I'm gonna suggest is how about starting to think a bit more ethically in terms of where those products are sourced from and what they're made from so that you can help reduce the toxic load in your mum's life. So starting to think about natural broody products and there's several different benefits. I've mentioned the, them there, like you basically reduce your toxic load, you're going to be giving her something that's probably loaded with things like essential oils, so the smells are going to be amazing as well. And you're more likely going to be supporting a local or smaller business because a lot of handmade products these days are still made by smaller companies. So, for example, you could be looking at giving her some hand cream. You could be looking at a foot cream, face cream. It could be a soap bar. It could be a shampoo bar. So something that is nice and natural and added into that is 
beauty in terms of makeup. So she may have her favorite brand and there is nothing wrong with going and getting her a favorite brand. If you've noticed your mum is starting to have more of a penchant towards natural products, ethical products, or products where she just wants to try and reduce her toxic load on her body by what goes into the skin, because your skin absorbs a lot, then try thinking about one of these more natural or mineral based brands. Check out ones that are organic, high quali quality, certified organic, high quality, and try and get her into one of those. And often if you're buying things like uh, makeup or beauty packs, you can get ones that are in a small like sample set or gift set where you would get the things like a, a basic base, a lipstick, you know, you might be getting an eye cream in there, a mascara, things like that so she can try it out. And that's a lovely way of showing you care because you are getting her something that is going to be healthful in terms of not having lots of nasties in it. It hasn't got all of these added chemicals that are known to be bad for us that a lot of women do put on their skin every day. So have a think about beauty products, pampering gifts, sourcing them, supporting local business and reducing your mum's toxic load. Now this idea follows on from the last one in where you buy a lovely handmade pampering beauty product and then you add on to that some of the accessories that are going to enhance the benefits of that product and you package them up in a basket to make a little hamper. So for example, you buy a nourishing handmade foot cream, you then buy a pair of really cozy thick socks, you tell your mum these are her overnight foot socks, only to be used for that, and then you also buy a foot stone, a pumice stone, so like a natural pumice stone to reduce your ecological footprint, buy a little wicker basket, pop it in together. You can even pop a little card or note that says step one, two or three, um, so that, for example, she will soak her feet. Uh, you could have had a foot soak in there as well. And then she's gonna pumice her feet. She's gonna slather on the cream, put on the booty socks and bada bing, bada bam, she's got a lovely little foot night pampering package for her feet. You could do the same with hands. Buy a hand cream, cuticle cream, buy some of the overnight gloves and she can use that. Same with face, you could buy a face mask that she's going to put on, a face wash that she's going to use to take it off, a nice cream for the face, some of the gel eye packs that she can actually lie down while she has it, and then a hair band that she can pop her hair back in uh, with to keep it off of her face while she's doing her treatment. So just really nice ways you can make up these little pamper kits yourself. If you don't want to buy one that's ready made or that's too expensive and you really want to have choice as to what you put in there, if you've bought her the aromatherapy oils, they can go in there too, of course, can't they? So you can mix some of these different ideas together. But a lovely little self-made, handmade product pampering package. Okay, now we're going to move on to something that is a lovely, luxurious item that is super simple. And this is a satin or silk pillowcase. Now, I got into these many, many years ago because as you can see, I am a curly haired lady and it really helps hold my curls. But what I've also found over the years and throughout having looked up the research done on these products is it can be great for your skin. It saps less moisture out of your skin and out of your hair. They can feel a lot cooler, a lot more comfortable at nighttime. They feel a lot more luxurious. You can buy these, they usually come in packs of two. Like I said, silk is more of the natural product because it's a fat fiber made from the product that comes from the silkworm. Satin is a man-made blend of fibers and they're gonna be the cheaper product. Either way, whichever one you get, you usually get a pack of two, pick a color that your mum's gonna like. You know, If you're not sure, then pick a nice neutral champagne, cream or light gray tone color. It's probably gonna go with most bedding that most people have. Just a lovely way for her to just feel that extra bit of luxury when she goes to sleep at night. If you wanna go one step further, you could get her a satin bed sheet, couldn't you? But trust me, the pillowcases may be all you need. You can pop that if you're making one of the pamper hampers, why not pop it in there? And finally, this is one that's maybe gonna cost a bit more money and you have to wait till the timing is right to be able to deliver this one, but is a spa day. In the true sense of pampering, if your mum is someone who doesn't mind going into spas and getting undressed and loves lounging around in that kind of environment, this can be amazing, especially if it's also married together with some of these other ideas in that it is giving her some me time, it's getting her out of the house and away from her to-do list. 
if you buy it as for example a pa package pair where she can do it with a friend or with her sister or with you then she is getting quality time with you or with someone she loves as well and then if even more so if you can find one that has a deal where there is a treatment built into it or where you pay extra for a treatment if you can afford that you are adding on that extra element of pampering for example having a facial a pedicure a massage so a lot of it can all be wrapped in and in fact you can often get these all built into you know like a whole day package where you then get a meal thrown in or some lunch thrown in as well or some sort of lovely snack it's a really nice one it's not going to be your cheapest option but trust me it's if you get somewhere nice so read the reviews it's going to be something your mum really appreciates and is going to remember so there you have it those are my 10 pampering gifts to give to mums i hope you found some benefit in some of these and some useful ideas if you did then please let me know below which of those you think would be the most valuable gift or in fact the one that you are going to give to your mum or a mum you know who deserves a bit of pampering thanks for watching the video if you found it useful then please do go ahead and share the link so that other people can benefit from it make sure that you subscribe and click that bell so that you get notifications whenever I drop a new video. And until next time, I wish you well.